let's take a look at some of the um, create tools given to us in 3D Studio Max. If you go over here to the uh, create menu, which is this white arrow, um, and click on it, underneath it you've got um, geometry, you've got shapes, lights, cameras, and so on. Um, go ahead and click on geometry, and then in this drop-down menu make sure that standard primitives is selected. Underneath that, choose box, and then you're going to choose a viewport and drag and drop create. So uh, I'll be using the top viewport, and I'm going to drag, and then when I let go of the mouse, I can now move it either up or down to uh, get the height. And when you're done, you just click, and uh, I'm going to choose uh, Z, and that'll bring everything to the front. And notice that this has um, three segments from the front view. Um, the top view shows that it's got three segments this way and three segments this way. And it's only got uh, one segment for the height. In other words, uh, there's no segments going this way. You can change all that down here. See, if you want more length segments, you can increase that. If you want more width segments, you can increase that. If you want more height segments, you can increase that. And um, the object with uh, designing in 3D is to get the best uh, viewing result for the lowest amount of polygons. And each job will have, you know, different limits as far as how many polygons you can use. Um, Right now, we're not going to worry too much about how many polygons, but uh, we'll just choose three, three, and three. And uh, I just wanted you to notice that um, if I convert this to an editable poly, I won't be able to adjust those uh, options anymore. So if I right click on this and I choose convert to editable poly, the computer no longer sees it as um, as a square, as a primitive object. It's now seeing it as a model. And so I can't go in and adjust the uh, segments anymore. Once you convert something over, you just can't, uh, can't adjust those segments. You would have to go in and slice them or uh, tweak them some other way. Um, but then, now that it is an editable poly, there's things that we can do to it that we wouldn't have been able to do before. Uh, for example, um, if I wanted to take one of these edges and move it, I could do that, where I couldn't do that before. So now I've got a different shape going on. It's no longer a square. There's also going to be some other features, that, like uh, some modifiers that you can add, and we'll get into that later. But um, that's just a quick start, a uh, quick introduction as far as how to create a primitive shape. Same works for other objects like um, if we go to Sphere, you know, we've got all these options down here. The segments. But then once you convert it, you can no longer adjust those segments anymore.